not long ago when virtual and augmented reality sounded like concepts from the distant future. But today, thanks to rapid changes in technology, VR and AR is becoming more prevalent not only in the way we're interacting with each other, but also with companies. Today I'm here at the VR AR Association's The Future of Branding event to learn a little bit more about how companies are leveraging VR and AR to really change the way they engage with their customers. So VR is kind of enclosing you in your own environment. And AR is basically is a future of computing. It's going to overlay images on top of our real world. So it's going to interact with that. And we're going to be you know, walking down the street. We're going to have Yelp reviews pop up. We'll have the menu pop up of restaurants. And we'll have lines painted on the road uh, directing us to uh, where these restaurants are. I'm a software engineer working on VR and AR. Currently, I work on developing apps for AR Core, and I recently worked on the app that was launched for uh, a couple weeks ago for AR Core Public Launch. So Cardboard was our first step, and it helped us figure out what worked, what didn't work, what we had to improve for Daydream. It's really about a path of evolution, and right now with AR Core, if you look at where we are, it's just our first step, so lots more exciting things to come. We are a production uh, agency. We help with brands from their beginning with the concept all the way down to the distribution. So I started way back a long time ago when this was really just an idea and, and some tools that you duct tape together. In four years, it's pretty incredible to see how fast the industry has grown. <clears throat> brands can really tell their story, showing why they actually need their product and how it's going to help them in everyday life. So we created content with the BC Lions since June. And what's beautiful about that from a sports perspective that every sports franchise their golden egg is to make the fans feel like they're part of the team. It really puts them in a perspective that they cannot get in any other way, that traditional filmmaking or broadcast just can't provide. Right now we're seeing a huge growth. Uh, we have about 130 uh, plus companies in Vancouver and we're, we're known as a global hub. So that's kind of our mandate and we just want, really want to get the technology in front of people's faces. Wow, it's so cool to see how these brands are leveraging these extended realities to take customer engagement to a whole new level. For more information, check out the link below. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Christina May.